We want to build from the ground up. This means that if you're a PC player, you need to customize your controls so that maneuvering through the game feels like an extension of your body. This will be the number one absolutely most critical thing you do to transform how fluidly you play Helldivers 2. This completely changed the game for me. Because there is so little time to think in difficulties 8 and 9, your control schema has to be absolutely perfect in order to fluidly traverse the battlefield and deal with the many, many challenges the game will throw at you. While I can't get the controls perfectly customized to your preferences, I will show you exactly what I've done on my side to make this game feel more like playing Quake 3 Arena, Unreal Tournament, or Tribes. Essentially that beautiful, effortless, high skill ceiling extension of your body that tournament shooters of yesteryear demanded. Open your options and let's get tweaking. Set Remember Aim Mode to Per Weapon. Remember Weapon Functions to Yes. Switch Weapon on Pickup to No. Now, the big one here is to enable dynamic aim mode. This is a game changer that allows you to quickly snap in and out of first person ADS, which makes fighting the automatons that much easier. You no longer need to worry about manually switching between third and first person modes or messing around with switching which shoulder your camera is viewing over, which frees up two controls. Simply tap right click to snap to sights or hold right click to aim while maintaining third person view for greater awareness. If you make any of these changes, make sure that this is one of them. In the display options, ensure that camera shake strength is set to off. Trust me on this one, you're welcome. While you're there, make sure V-Sync is off so that you don't incur any unnecessary mouse lag. Over in the HUD options, make sure that reticle visibility and sample count visibility are both set to visible. Under mouse and keyboard is where we start to do the real magic. First, make sure that mouse smoothing is off and that mouse acceleration is on zero. We want to ensure minimum mouse lag and highest predictability with aiming. Now, jump to change bindings. Your preferences here may vary, but I'm going to show you the settings which completely transform the game for me. Set climb to hold spacebar. Set sprint to press shift. This gives your pinky finger a nice rest. Set dive to tap spacebar. This makes the spacebar a dual function control. You tap it to dive and hold it to climb. This saves you an additional key while being extremely logical. Down under stratagems, you can change up, down, left and right from WASD to the arrow keys on your keyboard. This allows you to call in stratagems while continuing to move. Currently, I still have them bound to WASD due to muscle memory, but I'd suggest learning the other way. Over in the combat settings, set reload to one of your furthest mouse thumb buttons and quick grenade to the mouse wheel button. Quick stim set to Q. Primary weapon set to mouse wheel up. Secondary weapon set to mouse wheel down. And support weapon set to your nearest side mouse thumb button. Weapon switching, reloading, and jumping in and out of first person view is now effortless. Get used to this and you will dominate. Weapon wheel up, down, left, and right to the arrow keys on your keyboard. Under communication, set mark to tap F and open comms wheel to long press F. And there you have it, finally done. Your controls are now set up like a pro. Feel free to play around with them and customize them to your own exact preferences. If you're finding the tips valuable so far, feel free to join us as a subscriber because there is a heap more Helldivers 2 content coming. I'm going to cover the meta behind the upcoming releases, such as the impending mech stratagems, not to mention the value of the monthly war bonds trees being released every second Thursday of the month. I will give you the play-by-play -play of what melts the endgame.